Oh, yes, it's movie time, folks. You know, sometimes we talk about those highbrow, sophisticated kind of movies, and someone say, well, those aren't really for me. They're for art houses and that sort of thing. Well, I've got the movie for you now if you don't like that kind of movie. And, uh, well, even if you do, you might like this movie. It is crazy. Remember Johnny Knoxville, famous for the Jackass movies? Well, they've been very successful, so they say, let's do another. They call it Jackass Forever. Check it out. The wait is over. Johnny Knoxville and his troop of crazies are at it again. Jackass Forever puts everyone in peril, including Johnny, who was nearly killed by a bucking bull. Broken bones, brain injuries, and he says, that's the point. Hello, Johnny, how you feeling? Feeling great, David, how are you? I'm, I'm doing great. I, I was wondering about the, the, this recovery from this, this incident you had. It's just amazing how fast they are at that last little second. I thought you could get out of the way. No, well, the idea wasn't for me to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wild man. It's a Texas rat snake. Venomous? <laughs> <laughs> when the bear was there, when the snake was there, I think I actually smelled fear. Oh, we, we're pretty honest about we're scared in those moments. But Aaron McGee, yeah, with the bear, he was terrified, and rightly so, because it's a bear. We didn't know if it was going to eat his face off or uh, rip any other appendage off. I know, I know. And the snake thing, I mean, no matter what you say or know about a snake, snakes are just plain scary anyway. Yeah, who knows how the snake is going to react. And, and that's kind of what makes it special, right? That you don't, you, you don't know what's going to happen. And I say in the snake bit, uh, Poopies, that's the character's name, we told him that that snake was venomous. And he still did it. It wasn't venomous, but only afterwards we're like, Poopies, that snake wasn't venomous. He was like, really? If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. If they trust us to go to the bathroom, they're less intelligent than I thought. Hey, do you think that this movie will be required viewing for medical students studying urology? <laughs> well, that, and I think we made a lot of scientific breakthroughs in this film that, uh, you know, you know, because at, at the end of the day, we're performers, but we're scientists as well. <laughs> sure. So you're 50 years old. You, you, you think you've had enough of this or what? I don't know. We, we don't know if we're going to make another one or not. If, if we did make another one, I would try to probably sit behind the camera with Jeff Jermaine, the director. But Jeff, as, as he points out, tells me that I'm terrible at sitting behind the camera. I sat there frozen, man, with my mouth open, going like, I just can't believe what I'm watching. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll see you, man. Be well. Thank you, David. Stick a fork in it! Okay, the big question is, are they going to make another one? Well, this one opened last Friday. It's already racing towards $50 million, doing much better than a lot of more sophisticated movies out there. So, yes, I bet indeed they will make another one someday. And, yes, I did sit there with my mouth open, like totally stunned the entire time. A lot of guys are in this movie, and they perform, well, You'll have to see it for yourself. I'm not even going to say it out loud. The ultimate is fantastic, at least strange.